Hey everyone, FPS Chazla here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters. Oh, finally, right? We're doing the sub command campaign with the 688i, and we're doing the missile test mission. Yeah, I had a sudden lapse of uh, interest in Dangerous Waters for a few weeks there, but I'm back. It's actually rather a much needed break. I didn't realize how much. I, ooh, I did not realize how much I needed that break until I took it, but it was good. All right, let's get some of this slack in. All right, so the Russians are going to do a missile test, and it is to take place in the vicinity of 7420 North, 4212 East. Oh, that's actually kind of close to here. Okay, 7420 North, 4212 East. I guess I'm just going to draw like a circle here. Oh, 74, 20 north, 42, 12 east. We'll just draw a two nautical mile circle here, I suppose. So we are to track an Oodaloy. I think it was saying an Oodaloy is going to be launching this. Yes, the Oodaloy. Okay, it's all repeated here. We have to be no more than 9,000 yards away from the boat. We need to have our periscope up before the test is to begin at 11:20 local and we need to collect two data we need to collect data for 2 minutes after the missile engages the target which i assume is supposed to mean after the missile strikes the target okay so we're bringing in some toad don't lose track of that uh let's see eta to arrival we're already kind of going on 20 kind of heading right for this already Ooh, get on that waypoint there, boy. Oh, I put the frickin'... Did I put the waypoint, like, right on the circle uh, here? Clear, remove. Steady right. on course, zero, one, eight. Insert, put that here. ETA to arrival is two hours, so we got a boogie. We have to get faster. We are not going fast enough. We got to be here in about an hour. So we have to go twice as fast to get there. Okay. So let's, uh, that's probably good for now. What's our depth looking like here? Pretty deep. Layer, no layer, bottom limited. Very well. Oh, we had ourselves a little course change. Very well. Okay, yes. Let's get this course change onto the waypoint here. Now let's go ahead and start calling them as we see them, start scanning get down there in the frequencies so yeah I was uh you know a little disinterested for a little bit needed the break but I'm back maybe a little rusty it's been a while since I recorded oh hello what was that was that something no I'm, I'm seeing things 50 is uh here uh do 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 yeah but that up that did it did it did it did it do I'm not saying anything. This could be sand kind of thing. We've been getting some data on Sierra 1 here. Let's go ahead and assume a speed of yeah, standard. See what we get. These are holding pretty parallel. These, uh... Well, for let's go ahead and assume they're going to be get, moving kind of due east right into the area here. They're probably doing about 10 knots. It gives them a range of about... Oh yeah, about 40,000 yards, all right, okay. About 40,000 yards, not that, excuse me. That's not what I did. Give me uh, 10 knots. About 40,000 yards, about due west is what I meant to say. And we'll throw that right there. Roger that, okay. So we have to figure out which one of these here is the Oodaloy. Let's speed up to 10 knots here. Make turns for 10 knots, maneuvering eye. In a bottom limited environment, you get sound waves bending towards the bottom, so it would be, it would be prescient of us to get deeper. Make my depth seven, six, eight. I'm not sure if the game models it that way. That sound waves are all supposed to kind of bend downwards in a bottom limited type. <clears throat> but we can at least try. Damn it! I didn't get my timer going. It's all good. Uh, we'll go for about 40 minutes from this point. We got the TB24 out, correct? Yes. Or whichever is the more sensitive one. Okay, 10 knots. 
10 knots, it'll be there in an hour. That kind of makes sense. Like I said, we're going to be moving. We're going to have to be moving quicker than that to get up there. It's probably going to. This is probably not the Udaloy. It's probably something else. We need to be going faster. Let's see what 12 knots will get us. Make turns for in terms of ETA here. <sighs> 12 knots will get us. 115. Which is just cutting it. That's really cutting it close. I may want to go for 15 knots, really just build us in some margin here. We're doing it. All ahead standard. All ahead standard. Hell my. Going 15 knots to try and build in some margin here. We might lose some acuity on this toad here at such a speed. That is very possible. I'm not seeing them on this on the sonar, so. What is the bearing we got here? 042. I'm not seeing anything, so if I'm not seeing the surface ships go on approximately the same speed right now, we should be good. Seems like it's going to be a, a bottom type, analogous to maybe mud, or well, so sand is the sand is the 50% one and mud is the 25% one. So mud is the crazy one. I've I one time did a multiplayer match with mud bottom type going up against an Akula three as a 688i. I didn't see that dude until I was like. 2,500 yards away or something, man. 3,000 yards away. And shit got thick real quick, dude. That was, a, that was a pretty sticky situation. But, so yeah. I think we're pretty good on that front. So we're making for 15 knots here. And then, of course, this is this is getting to this point here. We don't need to be exactly right there. So I, I can take that into account in my determination here. I'm just going to roughly draw out the extents of this coordinate box uh, if I go really crazy I draw all the corners of it but I'm not going to do that right now and this is just an approximation wow okay so it's going to be somewhere inside this little box here and we're going to have to our, uh, shift C well that makes it like disappear that's interesting okay control C we have to be within 9,000 yards of this place. So that 9,000 yard circle could even be elsewhere. We could put that over here, kind of assuming a worst case drawing tools at area circle. Worst case from us would be all the way over here at 9,000 yards. So we can kind of tuck it in right about here. 42 minutes. Okay, then we can slow down a little bit actually in response to that. Do 13 knots here. Make turns for 13 knots. Uh, our current time plus 40, that would be uh, 1050. So we can gain, we can slow down by about 10 or 20 minutes here. And still be probably good to make this test. But until we get better data on who's who, it's probably a good idea to build in a little margin. But 13 still has a decent bit of margin, so we'll stick with that for now. Still has a decent bit of margin. Part of me just wants to narrow it down to a nice 12. Nothing superstitious or anything, but just a nice 12. Yeah, it looks like we had a little bit of a... A little bit of some signal loss going on there. Definitely on the sphere. So it's good to be down at this speed. How's that affecting our ETA? 50 minutes? Roger that. That's fine. That's plenty. That's good. Because we don't need to be right on top of it. We just need to be within X amount of distance of it. So conservatively, I put the nine the 9,000 yard range on the far side of that coordinate box and then set our goal to get another nautical mile inwards from that. So seem to be some decently decent assumptions there. I'll stick with them for now. Oh boy. Okay. So we might as well get ourselves a little time lapse going. How's this solution looking? Pretty tight. Let's go ahead and assume a nice even course at 270. Where does that put us? Puts us a little further out. Let's go ahead and say 12. No, no, no. no. I guess slower then. Assume a nice even course at 270. We, we, we got a little time to get some kind of a course change here to try and finagle that. So right now we got ourselves 
elite situation. Let's go ahead and come back over this way. Come right to course Get some zero, lag bearings eight, on this six, for a little bit. Get ourselves some lag bearings and see what we got going on with this solution here. Help firm it up a bit there. Steady on course zero eight six. Alrighty, so we're getting some new data now. Are we getting multiple contacts? No. Okay. Didn't seem like it had updated. Uh, let's see. That may be the most recent one up there. It's kind of cocking back on us there. This will help narrow down what we're looking at real good. Real good here. Shit. You could almost finish this video in freaking real time. With all this uh, sneaking around. So that's looking like a pretty decent solution. Because we're getting some lag data now on this dude. We'll hold this for a little bit. Maybe uh, two or three more LOBs and we'll resume our course here. Hmm. Use a little time lapse. Yeah, no reason I couldn't get this done in one vid. Yeah, this is holding up pretty nicely. Pretty. No, actually, it's adjusting a little bit. Ever so slightly. Okay, it's coming right about here. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, nail that down. That is looking nice. That's looking nice. Let's uh, resume our course here. Come back that way. So I just saw a video for a new game. It's called. It's a. It takes place aboard the Kursk, and it's a first-person survivor game. I think the video was actually from 2016, but it looks super cool. Uh, Rush the Bus just showed it to me on my Discord channel. Check it out if you haven't. Also. If nothing seems to be happening on that Discord channel and you're stuck in the intro section, just say something. Just say something in the intro section and I'll let you in. It's kind of just like a little paranoid anti-spam thingy Madu Bob. But yeah, just go ahead and say hi in the intro section and uh, I'll let you in there. <sighs> but it, it, lo it looks cool. Well, it looks interesting at least, let me say that. Um... I think it takes. I think the the goal is that it takes place when the torpedo blows up. But in the demo video I saw, there was one point where there was like a weird demon ghoul looking kind of guy. So I'm not sure if it's a survivor horror game or just a survivor game. It was uh, interesting. 44 minutes. That'll get us up there at 11:05. Uh, okay. Very well. Yeah, we'll go with that. How's our depth looking as we get up this way? Sounding. Pretty constant depth. Where are we? Okay, we're all the way up here. Is that Novaya Zemlya? That may be. It is. Okay, wow. Yeah, my colorblind ass. So we're really up here in uh, Jerry's backyard. <laughs> no, we're not in Jerry's backyard. That's a U five seven one quote. But yeah, we're we're in we're in uh, Ivan's backyard up here. Ivan Ivanov or Ivan Ivanovich Ivanov. We're in his backyard right now. Why am I right-clicking? I don't know. I always get particular about being at the correct zoom level. Something like that. <sighs> Let's go ahead and check out the toad. That was kind of a long speed run. Worth checking out the toad. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on us or that we're not... Was that something? Been out of this for freaking three weeks, and I'm already seeing phantom, phantom Russian submarines. Okay, I well, we're going due north. There's no point in looking over there because those are just that's just the mirror. Okay, retrieve I'm gonna retrieve a little bit more of the slack and just a little bit, just a little bit. No, stop it, stop it. There you go. Okay, R E S P E C T. We started at about 10, eh? Yeah, started at about 10. Cool. So we're in here. We're in there like swimwear, as Mr. Tamborella likes to say. Anything on the sphere? All clear. Let us keep zoom, zoom, zooming in. Uh, today, was, today is March 14th, Pi Day. And uh, the east coast of the U.S., well, at least where I was, got a rather shitty snowstorm. It was uh, really icy, crappy stuff. The roads were pretty bad. 
I uh, spent the night at my girlfriend's last night because I wanted to. I was expecting to have off because it was supposed to be a big storm, but it didn't didn't come to fruition. Um, all the schools around here got off, but I did not get off. <laughs> I had a delay, but uh, so on my way back home from my girlfriend's, freaking uh. I don't know, that's kind of weird to say for me for some reason. I don't know. That, that's a story for another time. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's just weird for me to say. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was driving home, and this car in front of me hits like a patch of snow on the road. It's uh, mostly blacktop, but there's some, uh, there's some snow patches like on the, on the ramps. They hit a patch of snow, and I guess they freak out and slam on the brakes. So, you know, they get a momentum shift forward, and the, uh, the car spins, and they kind of lose control. And, like, go right into a ditch. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I was contemplating stopping to help him, but, I mean, you know, in such a situation, Come left to course it was three, such a low-speed ditch oh entrance that they don't really need medical help. At least I wouldn't think. It's just that they just need a tow truck. <laughs> so I kept going. I just kind of drove by and was like, see you later. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. All right, let's make sure this solution's holding up pretty well. It is holding up pretty well. Let's get the full history on it. Oh, okay. Something easy. Something looks like it has changed. Or my solution was not correct. Let's see. There may just be some error involved. I mean, it's pretty close. There may just be a little bit of error involved with that. Okay. Not seeing any of them yet still. But we're going to do this for now. So this is... If I didn't have this freaking... This pinger guy, I guess we would still be doing the same thing basically. Still just trying to get up there. But it's nice to have the pinger. Kind of know what's going on. It's definitely a sand bottom type at least. It may be mud. I feel like I would expect to see them at this point if they're going about, you know, 10 knots, 8 knots or so. I feel like I would expect to see them, but it is all quiet out here on the western front. I'm just kind of trying to keep up some maneuvers here as a good measure. I mean, that's that's it's it's on the money. There's a little bit of variability in it, but it's like it's on there. You're talking like tenths of a degree. That's 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 pretty that's pretty good. Pretty good as it gets, you know, assuming that two seven zero is correct, and I have no reason to believe it's not. Heading right for the test area. It's probably a picket ship, but it could be the ship, who knows? Oh but I'm oh I'm so tired. <laughs> to get back to real life. Freaking just like plow trucks and people shoveling and and stuff like all through the night. Just like I didn't get any solid chunk of sleep that was longer than like two or three hours last night. I guess two hours probably. And ugh, I'm just so tired. But didn't get to work. To, I didn't have to go to work today till noon. And I got to leave early. So that's always good. That is always good. So I can actually, I'm recording this a lot earlier. See, I would just be leaving, I would have just left work 10 minutes ago, but I'm already recording this. So it's nice. I'll be able to finish up early and get some freaking sleep. Get some sleep. It'll be good. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's keep up the time, Excel, shall we? This could be a one and done video. There's no need to keep this longer than that. I've done this mission what on this channel now? Two times? Nothing crazy happens in this mission. At least nothing that I'm not expecting. Something could potentially happen that would be crazy. Crazy good. Let's come back uh, this way come here. Right to course zero, three, six, What's our line. ETA? 30 minutes? Okay, that's fine. Maybe one last zag here for a little bit of a zig to the zag and then we'll just kind of head straight in we'll be in position about 13 zero, minutes before three, the launch six. approximately Ooh, hello what was that what is that oh. 
That's me turning in the toad. That looked like something right there, but I guess it's not anything. Those kind of look like tracks, but I think I'm seeing stuff. And it's on my toad baffles right now anyway, so... Not like I can't... Oh, no, 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 this not... That isn't... No, well, okay, it is now. Maybe I should just head for the waypoint at this point. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Resume waypoint follow. Uh, waste of a turn. I want to be able to see these guys, though. There's no... This is not... This is the last time... This is the last... I would not... In this sit... Approaching a... <laughs> When I'm getting this close to a point, and I'm getting this close to these guys, I want to be able to see them in the toad. I don't want them in the toad baffles. Do not want... Do not want that at all. Oh, stop it, I'm right-clicking. I might be right-clicking because of Arma 3. been playing a lot of that lately. That really looks like something. What is that, bearing 3-0? Okay. Doesn't corroborate with this. Doesn't mean it's not something. But yeah, this is still lining up pretty good. There's a little bit of weeble wobble, but it is lining up pretty good. I'm not going to mess with it. Is this centered on ruler? No. Okay. Oh. Oh, Lord. Let's see. Not seeing anything, man. That's fine. Once we get inside this circle here. We'll come up to periscope depth. We will take a peek. Let's see what our Tavarishi are up to up there. Well, uh, yeah. I'll get back to you guys once we get inside that range circle. All right, the Bubala. We're right about here in the range circle. Uh, this guy is holding his track pretty good. As you can see, there's a little bit of a misconstruction in it. Nothing a little fiddling can't handle. Speed maybe a little it might be off by one knot. But okay, let's uh we're gonna slow down to eight knots here. Seven. We're gonna come to periscope depth. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Make my depth zero, six, five feet. And we're going to get ready to start observing this test. Man, those pings are getting loud. <clears throat> I've been keeping track of this, this bearing window here. Haven't seen a thing. Let's actually get rid of this. Steady on course. Come due zero, north. One, one. Come left to course zero. It's close zero, enough. Two. Hell my. Just want to make sure I got the full swath of toad pointed in that direction. So, yeah, this, this has Steady to be... Course. Zero, zero, Mud two. bottom, dude, because I'm not seeing... Is that something? Oh, My mic's in the way. Is that something? No, I'm losing my mind. There's nothing there. Alrighty. Uh, we're coming shallow, coming shallow. Exciting times. Slow down. <clears throat> Just gonna raise ESM and periscope. Don't want to potentially give away position with radio. I know that's probably not modeled in game, but <clears throat> it's fun to kind of pretend, you know. So we'll do ESM and radio. We'll have those up. Uh, did I say radio and ESM? We're gonna have we're gonna have the periscope and ESM up, not the radio mast. <laughs> so we are inside the range bubble. And we're gonna once we get to periscope depth, we're gonna slow to three knots here. Three knots, and we're gonna train over to that bearing. Take a look. Hello. I feel like in the stock game, this is a much longer mission, but maybe not. Uh, that may be if you're playing as op four. Okay, we are up there. Let's wait till we get to that order depth, and not a moment too soon. Oh, not a moment earlier. Because the depth control in this game is wonky. So let's get up to order depth. And we will just chill for the rest of the episode here until this launch happens. Man, this is a it's a good it's a good C state, probably four, three or four. Good chop. May have to get a little shallower than sixty-five to see. 
We'll slow to five at first, so we got that depth control ability. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering on. Raise the ESM mass, chief of the watch eye. Alrighty, we want to look at Sierra One, O three seven. Okay, we don't need that full repertoire, but yeah, that's that in his course. You can slap me and call me Sally. O three six. Yeah, there you go. Udaloy, right there. I have a new contact bearing. Right Sierra on the money. Three, seven. Got any friends? Yeah, you got someone way the hell off at Pearl. I have a new contact bearing zero four one. Any other friends? Okay, so we can put this range circle on him now. We can get rid of this. Range circle on him. I'll do four point four for a little conservatism. We'll be inside that booba soon. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all this. We'll put a mark here. Approximate test location. Okay. So we got our buddy. He's got a distant friend. Let's get up a foot or two here. Make my depth zero six three feet. Uh let's see, Are they emitting anything? <clears throat> They'll probably be MCOM until the test. Not seeing anything, but we'll keep this up. We will keep that up. Okay. Yes, we are up here. We got some pitching and rocking and rolling. Hard to keep her steady. I'm not seeing any other masts on the horizon. Not that way, this way. Let's do ourselves a full sweep here at a little shorter zoom just to make sure we don't have some German destroyer bearing down on our ass or something. Why a German destroyer? I don't know. I guess the U-271 code from earlier. Someone over this way. Oh, so this is all good. Okay, let's slow to three knots. We'll do four. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering eye. Three is a little slow. Okay. At this point, we can come 270. I don't want to get too much closer. Come left to course 268. Hell my. Let's just stay at five knots for this turn. We'll come to two. two we'll come to due west. It will be opening us up for some greater ping detections, but still not really seeing these guys on anything. And we've lost some acuity at the surface here. There's a lot of chop. So their sonar performance is decreased as well. Unless they got towed out or something. But yeah. Okay. He's got a friend way the hell way the hell out of there. I'm not worried about them. Uh what is the friend? I can really just see like a mast. We can take a photo, potentially try and mark it up with something while we pass the time. Uh let's see. I want, so I record these at 1024 by 768 for the YouTube upload and then I downsize it to 720. At some point I want to get a bigger monitor so I can record these at 1600 by 1200 and then downsize it to 1080. Get some 1080 videos of this up again. It's just, if I'm recording it at this resolution, I, I guess upsampling it can sometimes, I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll test with it. Whatever's back there has like a tall rear mast as well. Let me take a look at this close to and just verify Udaloy. Yeah, it's Udaloy, all right. Now zoom it in. Uh, give me that. Okay. I wish you could change the freaking the perspective on this. Uh, it could be Savremieni. We're gonna go with that for now. Classify contact as Savremieni. Not China, Russia. Savermeni 2. What the hell is that little thing? That's interesting. Oh, I was clicking the wrong thing. I was like, what? That is not a Savermeni. <laughs> Savermeni 2. Let's do this one. Confidence low. Unknown. And this guy here will classify you as Mr. Udaloy. AI. Udaloy 2. Nanisnayo. 
Unknown, confidence high. Do that. Cool. Alrighty. So we're in a decently decent position here. <clears throat> we may kind of just do circles. But uh, once we finish this turn, I'll, I'll slow down about three knots. And, uh, ooh, okay. Getting some EW from the Oodaloy now. What kind of set are we picking up? Just SSR? Surface to surface radar. Oh, uh, surface search radar, and we had some air surface ra air search radar going on there as well. Okay, very well. I'm gonna try and get a mark on that air surface air search radar. That might give us a separate mark here when that pops up. Spam that shit. Okay, it won't. But there was air surface air search radar and surface search radar. It always bugs me for this view model that the center of gravity is like all the way back here and not a little more centered on it like this. But that's fine. Okay. Just about steady on course there. Alrighty. <clears throat> I took a little snack break. Bathroom break. I am so tired, but we will get this. We will finish this up here <clears throat> in one fell swoop. What is that from One Fell Swoop? There's some show we're talking about. Or One Swift Stroke. Oh, that's Star Wars. We will crush the rebellion with One Swift Stroke. How to do, Mr. Buckaroo? I can almost see the captain's underpants from here, man. Like, we're close. Not that close. We're pretty close. But we could be close. We, we, we definitely could be closer, but that would not be a good situation. Alrighty, we're steady. We are good. It's still kind of drifting, drafting, drifting up a a little bit. Because this guy should be overtaking us in the periscope here. And he is now starting to. So very good. Might as well get a little little time lapse here. Let's, uh, okay, we can slow to four knots at this point. Let's stream a little more toad. Actually try and get this out a little bit further so as to get more acuity on this bad boy. Whoa, what was that? It kind of just like, <laughs> okay. Still just getting his radar on regular intervals. Nothing to indicate he's detected us. Keep streaming that bad boy out. I want depth tote array but we don't seem to have that that's fine seems like it's starting to gain some acuity here probably put it out halfway <clears throat> maybe even two-thirds oh start the timer i guess i don't i don't really need the timer at this point just go until we finish the mission you're on candid camera buddy contact bearing zero three i already zero. did that i'll take a photo of your ass i don't think i did that before Smile for the camera, son of a summer hubba. Okay, so we should be in range of this guy. Uh, all the solution points to yes, we are in range. Let's actually see if we can't finagle it a little bit. There's a little bit of a... He may have slowed. Okay, not that much. Uh... Ooh, what just happened? Oh god, we're so close that the errors are just insurmountable. It gets tricky to find the solution. Shit. Range. What is his range? Okay, slow down. Stop that. 7,800 yards is what we had him at. Eight, nine. Okay, nine. Nine's looking better. Was it? Was I doing nine before? I think I was. There's definitely something, and I guess maybe a little course change. Let's bring that up to the twenty minute. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I can't change that. Um, there you go. Maybe a little bit of a course change there. 
from him. Hello. There you are. <clears throat> Could try the whole statometer course thing, but it's fine. It looks like, is it just me or is he turning hard right now? He's turning. I think he's coming to bear for when this... Oh, we're, we're very close to the launch. Okay, I've not been paying attention. Good lordy, we are close to launch. Let's slow down a little bit more here. Uh, I'm going to put myself down a foot and slow down. Make my depth zero, Make turn six, six three knots. four, feet. maneuvering eye. eye. Let us verify what to do here. Let's see. Be on station with the periscope raised prior to missile firing. We are there. <coughs> we are just inside that booble. Part of me wants to actually kind of come this way. Oh, we don't need this much toad out. Hello. I think that's our dude. Or is that me? What is it? Oh, wait, wait. No, that's that's me, I think. Um, okay. Well, I still don't think we're seeing him. We could be. No, there you go. There he is right there. Alrighty. Udaloy. Ooh, da loy. Oh, I, I, what am I doing? I should not be in here right now. Okay, that's fine. Verify that. Okay, cool. You know what? Keep the 63 feet and keep it. Make it's so depth. choppy. Zero, six, three feet. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the five knots, too. Make turns that four, 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 four. Make turns for three, four, knots. four. 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 We'll stay four. Just pick one. Okay. It, it looked like he did like a turn earlier, but he may not have... He could be just like slowly slowing down here. That is possible as well. If we take it back to what it was before. Nine. Nine times. I mean, that actually kind of works too. We're just so close that the errors just get big. Just want to make sure I'm close enough to this dude. Not that. This one. Off. Okay, we need to watch. Uh, let's see. F4. Just getting radar from this guy. The test can start at any time within that range. So we need to watch. <sighs> Bring it up here a little bit. So once we see it launch, we can get that picture better. <clears throat> oh, this is mind numbing. Okay, no more drinks of water. I'm not going to miss that nice missile launch just to get a drink of water. He's just about broadside to me. Stopped. Or going just about my speed. I think the missiles are launched from the fore deck here, not the aft deck. But I'll keep it all kind of in the picture. I think the missiles are going off to the west. But I dare, I dare not leave my display. <clears throat> That's a very shiny boat. Wow, okay, yeah, ow. It's almost hard to look at. It's so shiny. He's moving a little bit. Man. See, this is what, this is what always, like, gets me interested about submarines is just... There's no battle, there's no lot, there's no, there's no front line on the ocean. You know, it's just intermingling, it's freaking crazy. It's craziness. All just suspended on a denser fluid. Or in the denser fluid. Alrighty, when are you launching there, bub? My heater just kicked on. Whew. Big old radio mass, lots of deck guns. This thing's got lots of SAMs it can launch. Quicker than the parry, this thing has vertical tubes. Or vertical launchers, whereas the parry, you know, has that rail. And the American parry in this game shouldn't even have a SAM rail on it. They got rid of it. And if you want to keep staying up to date with current stuff, parries are decommissioned in the U.S. Navy. They have been for about two years now. Two or four years. <clears throat> Quick nav map check. Okay. 
He's just getting closer as he sails. Oh, that frickin' wave. If I miss it because of a frickin' rogue wave, I'm gonna be upset. Part of me almost wanted to save before I frickin'... Oh, what was that? I thought I just saw something sparkle over there. Take a photo for good measure. Or measure. Where does that come from saying measure is measure? My nuclear professor used to do that. It's kind of like Y-E-A is not really, it's not yeah, it's pronounced yay. So maybe that's where it comes from, measure. It'll probably take place exactly at like 11.25 or something. Can you put a random time, a random bit on timers for triggers? Maybe. I don't know. Whew. Like this, I should just be able to like press a button and have a video record. I shouldn't have to be standing here just like ready to take a photo, take a photo. Hold like a camcord up to it and record a freaking video or something. I don't know how they do it. Well, in the old days, that's how they would do it, but with the, the new photonics masks, I'm sorry, you can just record a video with, like, software. <clears throat> is this guy still pinging? I think he is. I wonder where we got the intel that this test was happening. Well, I guess something like this, you actually kind of have to broadcast it to people because you can't, like, let people fly into the test zone or whatever, but this is Novaya Zemlya. I don't think many commercial liners are flying into here. And a whole Airbus A300, that seems like an expensive target. But who knows, could have been slated for retirement anyway from one of the Aeroflot or something. I don't know if they operate Airbus. That's how the military buy it up. Fab it for the test. 1124. Once that missile launches, it's just it's just going to be out of there. It's not going to be like as big and dramatic as like a real life launch with the huge smoke plumes and everything. It's going to be kind of hard to see. Watch eleven thirty roll around, and I like already missed it or something. I was gonna... <laughs> no, he's he's going. He's still kind of going, still kind of chilling. I'm not sure if he's actually at the test location just yet. But man. I'm watching with bated breath. Maybe I should even zoom out. <clears throat> Get a better chance to see it. Because I assume it's going to come straight up and then kind of tip over. I'm not just going to go like poosh, like a parry. Just kind of go straight out. I'm assuming it's going to go vertical first. Did I see another sparkle back there? Is there something flying around? <laughs> Okay, we're getting rapid ESM. His, his, his uh, weapons radar is going. I shouldn't necessarily be seeing those emissions, but that's for that's neither here nor there. I just see a missile go aloft. That'd be so indescript if it did. Shit. <laughs> I don't think he's launched yet. The weapons radar just started up. Like a few seconds ago. It's turning. I think as long as we're up here at periscope depth, we're good. <laughs> Even if my ass is being incompetent about it. No, not that. I wanted to zoom. I need someone on periscope number two to look at the fr where this freaking plane is or something. I think he's coming into attack position now or something. Weapons radar's going, he's changing course. Heading my way, but that's that's we'll cross that bridge when we get there.
Come on, bad boy, loose a missile for me. Loose that missile. There they go. Just saw some. Just saw. There's another one. Another poof. Not sure why I'm seeing a poof. And not really a missile. Is that a missile launch? Wow. Okay, I think he's launching a lot of missiles or something. Uh, let's take a look over that way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think he's launching a lot of missiles. There you go. Okay, we gotta keep this up for two more minutes. Till 41.31 on my timer there. You gotta look, the thing's kinda staying aloft. I'm not sure if it's down or not, what that means. <laughs> but yeah, that's really close aboard. I think it, it seemed like he launched a lot of missiles. <laughs> it looked like a lot. This Airbus is just like frickin' dying. And like, coming to a stop or some shit. <clears throat> Look at Guy Burn. Damn it, missile loss from our site. I think I got at least some of the objectives. <laughs> but yeah, you couldn't really see the missile launches. I saw some. UUV operating normally. Data feed is active. Uh, okay. I wonder where that... <clears throat> I wonder where that voiceover came from. Splash one bandit. Uh, hello. What are you at, Mr. Friend? There you are. Close aboard. I don't, I don't have an update on his solution. But rather close. We're here to stay up here for at least two minutes after the missile engages the target. And that's coming up in a few seconds here. I'm just gonna keep going until something tells me mission complete, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> two minutes coming up in three, two, one, zero, mark. Yeah, we're getting those pings from him right there, all right. That thing is no longer exists. <clears throat> Death is old. He still has a friend. He's come back to his original course, probably just gonna keep going on. There's the friend. Still don't know what it is, it's pretty far. It's gotta be at least another 10 nautical miles away. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna check the mission status, incomplete. Mission is not complete, so let's keep observing here. Just gonna speed up time a little bit. Slow to three knots. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. <clears throat> All right, something's not going right here. Let's just look at it. Uh, remain undetected. Observe missile test success. We saw that. We didn't see the missile test fail. Take photo missile launch. I think I did that. It's hard to see. Photo missile testing incomplete. Whatever. Is this gonna? I don't think this is. Let's uh, let's just do this and see what happens. Uh, oh three oh one. Save. Quit. Incomplete. Mother. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to figure this out off screen. God damn it. Missions like these are cool, but they're just so buggy to freaking execute with all the triggers and shit. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. As always, good hunting.